But these people are fucking jokers, man. This is a CEO. And in this interview, he basically says, you know, they're looking to start mapping the environments. And so basically what that means is, if you're not familiar, in this company, OVR, you can buy hexagons anywhere in the world that hasn't been bought already and there's a fair market auction that starts at ten dollars and if nobody else outbids you you own the property in the metaverse and i've had countless endless issues with this place starting with the worst customer service that i've ever seen even in rug pools they've got better uh, customer service than this fucking place so basically i'm like Look, what a joke, man. The mapper can sell the mapped land that he maps to the, the actual landowner. What if you don't want it mapped and you don't want to pay for it? And this idiot says, you can always map it yourself. Okay, dipshit. If you're a global metaverse company and I'm buying metaverse land anywhere in the world, you think I'm going to get on a plane and go map it myself, you fucking dipshit? I mean, these people are absolutely terrible, man. Like, like I said, I've got my own money in this and I just can't wait to sell it and be completely done with these fucking assholes. But this guy is just a fucking tool, man. Um, they overcharged me on land, refused to rectify it. Um, I would never promote this project again. I'm not putting any more money in it once I get the final pieces of land I'm trying to acquire. So down the road if they ever do get their head out of their ass and become a good metaverse i can sell it um but i mean this dude what a joke man so if you own the land now and they come up with some kind of mapping system someone else can go map your land and basically have a nft of it and they're gonna make either you pay for it directly or they're going to buy it from this person and then try to sell it to you again after you already own the property. I mean, absolutely terrible project. There's so many good metaverse projects out there that take care of their customers and actually care. I strongly suggest you go to one of those.